Revelator John. Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What are thermals and how are they formed? So thermals are columns, uh, if you will, of ascending air. And this air is warm air. So a thermal column is warm air rising. Now it is caused by uh, the uneven uh, heating uh, from the sun of the Earth's surface. So what can happen? That you will have warm areas uh, of the ground and letting off heat, but we'll also have cooler wind or air moving in, or we'll have cooler air above and uh, falling down. So we'll have a downdraft of cold air, uh, uprising and updraft of warm air. So this relates to the whole um, radiation and convection process, where we have warm air rising, cold air uh, falling, that fuels this warm air rising process. Thermals can be, um, can be very strong updrafts of air uh, moving upwards. Uh, there can be a turbulence associated with them as well. Depending on the uh, surface, uh, will generate more thermal activity than um, others. Um, we can also have uh, thermals that may be assisted or may be increased in intensity uh, dependent on the ge local geography. If we have hillsides, if we have uh, mountain sides and the thermal activity starts at the, the base towards the valley floor for example and then we have any kind of wind and that could push that thermal activity up the side of the mountain and create a stronger updraft as well. Once the um, hot air rises, then we may have <clears throat> um, more cloud developing at a higher altitude, and that cloud may be indeed vertically uh, developed to form cumulus clouds, nimbus clouds, rain clouds, uh, or cumulus nimbus clouds. So thermals are warm air, hot air rising uh, in the atmosphere, uh, creating updrafts of air, Cold air is falling, descending, causing downdrafts, which fuel this updraft of air. We could also have the updraft of air, warm air rising, caused in by cold air moving in due to, due to weather systems. Thank you.